Hello everybody, this is your English teacher Miss Kaimak. How are you? I'm great, thank you. So, girls and boys, we are going to go on our lessons like this for a while because of the coronavirus. I hope this coronavirus will end soon and we will back to school as soon as possible. So, we are going to start with the unit 7, dreams, okay? So, I want you to, guys, please stop the video and take some notes while I am teaching. When we are back to school, we are going to check your notes, me and Daria teacher, okay? Deal? So, let's start. Unit 7, dreams. Let's start with the word. What is this? Abroad. What is abroad in Turkish? Great, well done. What is this? Dream. What is dream in Turkish? Yes, perfect. What is earn money in Turkish? Earn money. Great, well done. What is this? Excellent. What is excellent in Turkish? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Drought. What is drought in Turkish? Yes, absolutely. Great. So, what is expect and expectation? What do they mean? Perfect. You're great. Well done. Food pills. What is food pills in Turkish? Food pills. Great. Well done. So what is this? Fortune teller. What is fortune teller in Turkish? Yes. Great job. So what is this? Freedom. What is freedom in Turkish? Mm -hmm. Perfect. We need freedom these days, right? Yeah, absolutely. And go on. What is go on in Turkish? Yes. I do it so. Uh, I do it mostly in my classroom. Uh, when we are reading a text, I say stop, go on, stop, go on. Do you remember? Yes. So what is this? Illness. What is illness in Turkish? Yes. And what is this? Imagine. What is imagine in Turkish? Yes. Perfect. And what is this? It's Pinocchio. Lie. Uh, yes, lie. What is lie in Turkish? Yes, Pinocchio lies too much, right? Yeah. What is this? Peaceful. What is peaceful in Turkish? Great job, well done. What is this? Robot mate. Robot made. What is robot made in Turkish? Well done, you're perfect. What is this? Okay, let's go on with some practice. Look at the words. These words are unscrambled. We are going to try to guess what words they are. Okay, let's look at the first one. What could it be? It is almak in Turkish. Yes, it's received. Well done. Look at this one. It means tahmin etmek in Turkish. What could it be? Yes, it is guess. And look at this one. It means hayal etmek in Turkish. Great. It's imagine. Great job. Look at this one. It is hayal in Turkish. Well done. It's free. Great job. And look at this one. It is kariyer in Turkish. Yes, it's career. Well done. And look at this one. It means mükemmel in Turkish. Yes, it's excellent. Well done. And to look at this one. What could it be? It is muhtemelen in Turkish. Great job. Probably. Probably. Well done. And look at this word. It is inanmak in Turkish. Yes, absolutely. It's believe. Well done. Clap yourself. Okay, let's go on with the grammar part. We are going to learn simple feature tense. It is gelecek zaman in Turkish. In this part, I can speak Turkish a little bit. Bu kısımda biraz Türkçe konuşacağım sizlerle. 
Evet, İngilizce'deki gelecek zamanda karşınıza iki farklı yapı çıkıyor. Will be going to. İkisiyle de gelecek zaman ifade eden cümleler kurabiliriz. Ama biz bu ünite de will kalıbına odaklanacağız. Will means ecek acak in Turkish. We use will to talk about future events, to make prediction, to express a spontaneous decision. Will'i nerelerde kullanıyoruz? Gelecek hakkında konuşurken, tahminlerde bulunurken ve konuşma anında verdiğimiz kararları ifade ederken will kullanabiliriz. Yapıya başlamadan önce önemli birkaç ifademiz var. <gülüyor> Onlara hep birlikte bakalım. The first one is I think. It means bence. Great. And the second one is I believe. It means inanıyorum ki. Well done. And the third one is I guess. It means tahminimce. Great. And the fourth one is I hope. I hope. Umarım. And also we can say inshallah for it, right? Great. And the fifth one is maybe, perhaps. They have got the same meaning. They uh, mean belki in Turkish. And the last one is probably. It means muhtemelen in Turkish. Arkadaşlar, bir şey dikkatinizi çekmek istiyorum. Yukarıda gördüğümüz beş ifade genellikle cümlenin başında kullanılırken probably'yi cümlenin ortalarında göreceğiz. Genellikle will ile e, fiil arasında görmekteyiz. Probably kelimesini. Biraz zaman zarflarına bakalım. Tomorrow it means yarın. Tonight it means bu gece. Soon it means yakında. Next week, next month, next year. Yes, gelecek hafta, gelecek ay, gelecek yıl. Arkadaşlar bu zaman ifadelerini cümlenin neresinde görüyoruz? Evet, cümlenin en sonunda görüyoruz. Okay, look at the positive form. Firstly, we put subject and then we put will and then we put verb one and then the other things. Let's look at the examples. He is very forgetful. Forgetful? Yes, unutkan. He will probably forget to take keys. O çok unutkan. Muhtemelen anahtarları almayı unutacak. Look at the will. It means ecek acak. And look at the second example. She is not punctual. Punctual? Yes. Dakik. I think she will be late. Bakın I think nerede? Cümlenin en başında. Perfect. I think she will be late. And look at the third example. Oh no, it's raining. You will get wet. Oh, hayır dışarıda yağmur yağıyor. Islanacaksın. Look at the negative form. Firstly, we put subject, and then we put will not or won't, and then we put verb one. Let's look at the example. I'm very ill. <coughs> I'm ill. What is ill? Yes, hasta. I guess I won't go to school tomorrow. Tahminimce yarın okula gidemeyeceğim. And look at the other example. They don't work hard. I think they won't pass the exam. Pass the exam. Sınavı geçmek. Güzel. Let's look at the words again. Let's look at the sentences again. They don't work hard. Sıkı çalışmıyorlar. Bence sınavı geçemeyecekler. Harika. Question form. Arkadaşlar iki farklı soru kalıbı karşımıza çıkıyor. Birincisinin cevabı evet ya da hayır olan soru kalıpları. Diğerinin cevabı ise değişebilen soru kalıpları karşımıza çıkmakta. Let's look at the first one. We put will and then we put subject and then verb one. And the other question form is WH question, will, subject, verb one. WH questions'ları göstermiştik. Ne diyorduk bunlara? Baba soru kalıpları diyorduk değil mi? Neydi onlar? What, where, when, what time. Great, well done. Let's look at the first example. Will you join Özner Teacher's online English class? Yes, I will. Or, no, I won't. Bakın, will'e sorduğumuz cevabın, sorunun cevabı ne? Evet ya da hayırla başladı. Ama HY questions dediğimiz 
e, what, where, when, what time gibi sorularla başladığımızda, soru kökleriyle başladığımızda cevabımız yes ya da no ile başlamaz. E, değişkenlik gösterebilir. Let's look at the example. What will they do? Where will you stay? I will stay in a hotel, for example. What will they do? They will study hard, for example. What time will she come? She will come at 7 p.m., for example, right? And look at the exercises. Sam believes Mark will or won't pass the exam. Mark is lazy. Sam inanıyor ki Mark sınavı geçecek ya da geçemeyecek. Bu sorunun cevabını bize ikinci cümle verecek. Neymiş? Mark is lazy. Mark tembel. O zaman Mark won't pass the exam, right? Well done. And look at this one. What will or won't you do next week? Maybe I'll visit Joe. Belki Joe'yu ziyaret edeceğim. Yes. What will you do? She's fine. She will or won't come to school tomorrow. O iyi. Yarın okula gelecek ya da gelmeyecek. Yes. She will. Well done. Thanks for watching. Ee, ufak bir ekstra bilgiyle bitirmek istiyorum. Arkadaşlar will'in kısaltılmış hali de var. Ekranda gördüğünüz tırnak işareti ve iki L şeklinde kısaltılabiliyor. Yani karşımıza bu şekilde de çıkabilir. Ee, şaşırmayınız will anlamına gelir. Herhangi bir anlamda farklılık yoktur. Yalnızca telaffuzda bir farklılık vardır. Hep birlikte bakalım. I'll come. I will come. Değil de I'll come. Diye telaffuz edilir. I'll. Okay? So look at this one. She'll go to school. She'll go to school. We'll study English. We'll study English. He'll answer. He'll answer. Okay? He will answer değil de he'll answer. Ama anlamı ne gene? Will. Gene ecek acak anlamına geliyor. Okay, girls and boys, let's go on uh, with our joyful book. Open the page 77. Yes. Now we are going to match the sentences with the pictures, okay? So, firstly, let's look at the sentences and then look at the pictures and try to match them. Let's do it all together. First one. We won't cook. We will have pills for food. We will have food pills. Which picture could it be? Well done. It is picture six. And look at the look at the other sentence. We will travel. We will travel in space. What is space? Yes, it is uzay in Turkish. Okay, which picture could it be? Well done. It's picture three. And look at this sentence. Internet will be more popular. Internet will be more popular. Which picture? Of course, it's picture two. Well done. And look at the other sentence. There will be flying cars. There will be, will be flying cars. Which, which picture could it be? Well done, it's picture four. Great. And look at the other sentence. Robots will do housework for us. Which one, which one could it be? Robots. Well done. It's picture one. Great job. And look at the sentence F. Students won't go to the school. They will have online education. Which picture could it be? Great job. It's picture five. Thank you. That's all for now. See you. Next lesson. Bye-bye.